Welcome back. In between the parts, I did a little bit of leveling up. So you can see we're at level 42 here. This is quite good. It's quite good. And I've got the money that we need to actually continue the story now. So let's talk to this guy and we should get about 60,000 gold. Yeah, uh, 60,000 gold. Chill. Pretty much put us exactly where we need to be in terms of money. Death to your debts. The least I can do is get you charged up, right? Charged up. Really? Still got a lot to pay off, though. A lot to pay off. Yeah. You've broken the 500,000 gold mark in your payments! Nothing gonna stop you now, Luger! I don't know, that's still... Still quite an amount. This is the Department of Dimensional Affairs. We need you to return to Spirius as soon as possible. Again? You can't just order Luger around like that. Agreed. We have located the final way marker. Do hurry. The final way marker? Come on, Luger, you gotta get moving. Thanks so much for not being ordered around. Nova's secret. Vera here, do you have a free moment? I was hoping to discuss a matter of a personal nature. A private call? Well, well. When did you two get so close? We'll step away so you can speak in peace. Please don't. I would like all of you to hear this. I understand that Nova has revealed highly personal information about me. In retaliation, I would like to divulge some of Nova's private secrets. Uh-oh, she found out. Revenge doesn't get served much colder than this. I don't know that it would be appropriate for us to hear a young lady's secrets. Um. Hmm. I mean, it is like, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. We don't want to hear the secrets. Don't do this, Vera. Yeah, Luger's right. Nova didn't mean you any harm. Not even tempted, huh? Mighty noble of you. Oh. I can't believe you blew a chance to get dirt on Nova. You are wise beyond your years. Truly, nothing good is born of revenge. You are correct. In the heat of anger, I was about to do something foolish. Revealing her credit card numbers, bank account details, and GHS user history. What was I thinking? Please forget this ever happened. I apologize for wasting your time. Yikes. There's private secrets and then there's that. I'm ever so glad we chose not to ask. Indeed, that that's a hell of a lot of information we could have got there. We could have paid off our debt, maybe. Maybe we should have done it. Maybe we should have done it. Right, so where are we going to go? Head to Spirius Corporation. That's where we're going to go. Shall we? Oh, we'll teleport. We'll teleport there. Right, so Spirius Corporation. Entrance. Ooh. It's obviously going to be floor 30, isn't it? Is it central office bed? Nah, we still can't get it. Oh, there she is. Vera's hey, right look, in the middle. Waiting for us. I know. I was just saying that. Yes, we'll proceed with the main story. Well done. We've been expecting you. We're on a roll, lady. We should get out there and grab the last way marker. It's not that easy. Something's preventing entry into Fractured Dimensions. We think it's the Spirit Maxwell. <gasps> the CEO will bring you up to speed on all the details in his office. Luger, hey! This is no time for small talk, you guys! All you need to know is Maxwell stopping us from getting the last way marker. Wait, Maxwell? Things are getting interesting. It would seem I need to have a chat with these spurious overseers of yours. We're coming with you. Fine, just hurry up. How convenient they turned up at this point. As the plot demands, Mila Maxwell. Is it wise to bring along an entourage like this? With the foreign king and a great spirit? It's probably not wise, but I doubt we'd be able to stop them. The, the plot demands it, so... 
Why, Luger, you're late. I believe you have something to tell us, Mr. Bacor. Yes, something about Maxwell. My goodness, no one said you brought a VIP. Please pardon me, intrusion. I am the king of Riza Maxia. Call me Gaius. It's a pleasure, Highness. Beasley Bakur, CEO of the Spirius Corporation. Are you certain you're safe here? What, with the peace accord ratification ceremony fast approaching? Fear not. He is under my protection. Who's she? Trusted. Oh, I'm just a humble spirit. Don't mind me. You're a spirit. I see. What happened? We've detected the fractured dimension that contains the final way marker of Canaan. Unfortunately, there's an obstacle somewhere within the dimensional abyss that's blocking all attempts at entry. I wonder if there's a way to circumvent it. We tried to force our way through, but were ever so rudely evicted. By the power of the four great spirits. The power of the four? Mila! Indeed. Mila Maxwell herself stands between us and the final way marker. It was Kronos who put her there. But escaping from the Abyss should be child's play if she has the Four with her. Perhaps it's not a matter of wanting to return, but of being unable. <laughs> Regardless, the final way marker is beyond our reach until something is done about Mila Maxwell. I would like to request the help of Riza Maxia with this situation. Very well. We'll look for a solution on our end, too. The solution is clear, isn't it? Hey, where are you going? Yes, Rowan, what is it? El and Mila are still somewhere in the city. Let's go find them. If I remember correctly, we may be able to find it. Oh, I think actually we can get a extra skit if I eat this. I think it's this point I get a skit. Not right here, but at some point, at some point. Um, oh. So I've got to run through the city? They're at the port. That's the thing, is that I know they're at the port, so we're heading straight there. It's like, dear, oh dear. Some of you may have guessed where this story's going. Yes, there's a reason we saw the Rolo scene again. Yep. You're really quiet. I expected someone to say something at this point. It's just very quiet. The music's finally kicked in, but it was just like... Okay, that seemed kind of strange. Yeah, so the port's down here somewhere. It would be nice if I just teleported, because it's not like I wasn't going to go anywhere. I wasn't, I wasn't going to go anywhere in this game. Just to the port. There we are, the stars appeared. Finally. she's sad about. You get it, don't you? Oh, I... I get it. You mean how to bring Maxwell back? That's right. The one who's keeping your Mila from returning is me. Because two identical things can't coexist in the Prime Dimension. This world's not big enough for two Milas. Yours can't return until I'm gone. Mila, wait! The way to bring her back into her rightful dimension is obvious. You have to kill me. <gasps> what? Ixne in front of the kid, yeah? No point hiding it. It's the truth. Yeah, well, it's gonna have to wait. Gaius just called. He got word that Exodus is plotting a whopper of an attack. 
Don't tell me they're targeting the peace accord ceremony. He wants our help nipping this thing in the bud, so to speak. What do you say? <sighs> Let's go. It's, yeah, he's like, we're gonna have to do something. I mean, we can't go to the fractured dimension, so. I'm coming too. We'd appreciate it. You coming too? All right. Time to hurry then. Gaius is already on his way to where they're holding the ceremony in Marksburg. <laughs> I knew it all along. It's me. Put me in touch with those Exodus lowlifes, would you? What's he up to? Exodus just doesn't give up, do they? It's up to us to stop them. Come on, guys. Let's hurry. Can I teleport now? Ooh, Mila's secret. You think that's true? No two of the same thing can simultaneously exist in the Prime Dimension? There's no definitive proof either way. True. Luger, what happened at the Epsilla Ruins? Well, Rolo met another Rolo, and the Rolo with the weird voice disappeared. It was like our Rolo just replaced him. Well, there you have it. The other Mila entered the Prime Dimension, while our Mila was trapped in the Dimensional Abyss. So she could be the cork in the bottle that's stopping our Mila from getting back in. It all adds up. So if we return the other Mila to her fractured dimension... But we already destroyed her dimension. And besides, once we enter a fractured dimension, we can't get back without destroying it. Why does it have to be like this? The way Rolo disappeared, I feel like I've seen it before. Hmm, I wonder when. I, I know exactly when, and so do several other people. But yeah, we have seen it before. Anyway, Marksburg! Olympia's entrance. Alright, so where do we want in here? That's the question. No. Oh. What sort of horrible scheme have they hatched this time? You're here. What's happening? Based on our documents, we're rounding up Exodus agents who've slipped into the city. Quietly, of course. Yeah, it'd be bad news if the public found out. If people found out, you could just erase them from history. That's your specialty, right? Mila, take it easy. They're a problem? Yeah, I mean, there is a little bit of a problem. We had a little tiff. I'm sure it's nothing to you. You destroy whole worlds. Taking me out is trivial. <laughs> Taking out Maxwell? Everybody stop fighting! The ceremony is about to get started. We've captured most of the Exodus members in the city. Now we just need to guard against attacks from without. Damn it all! They totally used <sighs> me! Oh, sorry about that, Kitty. Marcus? Huh? Uh, Alvin! Hold up! He a friend of yours? Uh-huh. From back when I ran with Exodus. <gasps> we'll tail him, Gaius. You keep an eye out for suspicious types at the city gate. One final thing. If the Mila we know had to die to fulfill her duty, you should know she wouldn't hesitate for a moment. So what? I don't even know what my duty is anymore. Why can't they ever make this easy? There he is! Hey! Don't get ahead of us! Ahead of us? What does, what does that even mean? What? He was running away from us. What? Marcus, buddy. Thought I told you to ditch Exodus and fly right. I... I'm sorry. So you still roll with those guys? Maybe. 
as what, Wimpy Cowboy? In what world is this guy a terrorist? Yeah, he's harmless. Just hangs out with the wrong crowd, that's all. Whenever the plan calls for a disposable stooge, he's their guy. Ugh, you're right. I got played as usual. What do you mean? Well, I heard a transmission from the main group. The Exodus guys in town are for show. The real action's out there. Where? On that ship, the ESS Paloon. That's where Chancellor Marcia is. You're ambushing the Chancellor of Olympias? Oh boy. We'd better tell Gaius about this. It's too late. Exodus agents are on board posing as crew members. They should have struck by now. You dumbasses! Chancellor Marcia is a moderate. She opposed the Otherworld Reactor Plan. Meanwhile, lots of other politicians are yelling for Olympias to put the screws to Riza Maxia. If you guys take out the Chancellor, the peace process dies with her. I didn't make the damn plan. Look, there's no saving her. Exodus has definitely got the upper hand here. Not for long. They're not wasting the time Mila gave us. I brought Gaius up to speed. All right, it's time to board this ship. Do we have to? I'm coming with you. Are you sure? It looks like we've got a new do-gooder in town. Silly Jude, I could have told you that. Should have piped up. But you know, this won't fix all the problems between Riza Maxia and Olympias. Not by a long shot. I mean, if we stuck our heads in the sand on this, nobody would be the wiser. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. Exactly. No, I guess I'm not. Can't blame a guy for trying though, right? Oh, bad Alvin, go to your room! Hey, if you're gonna whine like a spoiled little brat, I'm gonna lecture you like what? That makes a weird kind of sense. All right, Alvin. Put on your big boy pants. Marcus, get us a barge, man. Hop to it. What? Why me? And thanks for agreeing to be our decoy while we board the Paloon. Decoy? But I didn't agree to nothing. Well, if you're gonna be like that, might as well hand you to the cops. Wait. Okay, okay. I'll do it. Atta boy. Way to be a team player. Uh... You treat me worse than Exodus does. And those guys are a bunch of terrorists. You need better friends. <laughs> meow. Meow. Mila, listen. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm Maxwell. Remember? Yeah, this isn't gonna end nicely, is it? Finally got us a ship. Ready to board the balloon. To, to the balloon. Uh, all right, cheers, yes. Exodus goons. It's happening. I'm Marcus with Infiltration. I need to talk to the main squad. Freeze! You're in violation of mission protocols! Wait! Come on, you guys. Just hear me out. Save it for the holding cell. This is bad. I thought for sure they'd take the bait. Um. Time for a change of plans. This one over here is mine. Like hell. Now die.
Gotta keep your head about you, or you'll lose it. So what if I do? Isn't that what you want? No, of course it isn't. What about you, Mila? Is that what you want? <laughs> Where's the Chancellor? Oh, uh, I know that. She's being held in the Central Hall with her aides. <clears throat> I owe you one, Marcus. You don't seem like a total loser. You should quit doing bad stuff, okay? <laughs> uh, maybe you're right. Okay, you're just staring a bit too long there, Ludger. Bit creepy, if I'm honest, but all right. All right, so where are we going? Where are we going? Head for the central hall. What am I doing? Where? Oh, me. Ooh. Okay, that looks a bit dodgy. All right, let's check on him. I'm here to help you. I'll fix you up quick. So thank you for saving us. I got a Alright, I just like, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh! I like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We don't care about these little passages, we do. Alright, alright. Yeah, 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 Oh, yeah, I forgot about the time limit thing. I should have read about that. slaughtered the women and children. I'm gonna be sick. We can't let Elle see this. She's right here. How, how can we avoid that? We need to find out exactly where I'm meant to be going in here. That's the thing. It's like, I don't remember. I head for the central hall still. Is this it? I mean, it looks very centrally. I got a map. So, um, I don't know. So based on like the previous design we had for these ships, I, it doesn't match. So, yep. What I'm doing? Okay. Like, this why it says power hit L. Phew, indeed. Well, there's the map of curry that I had. I actually had that in real life. Paloon is the same model of ship as the Zenithra. And here it is, under attack from Exodus. Gotta love the irony. I mean, you say that, but it doesn't look very similar. Well, I suppose there's not all, like, boxes around all over the place in this one. That's something. Wait, wait, right, if this is the same design, where's the teleporter pads? That's my question. So there should be some. Just where exactly where? Is it just wandered up the corridor? Is it simple as that? It'd be quite, quite annoying if it is just wandered up the corridor. Gotta watch your step, Mila. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, tell me the truth. Is it difficult for you to call me Mila? Why would it be difficult? You're Mila just as much as she is. Not to you, no. To you, I'm just a double. A counterfeit. I don't think that way. How do you think of me? See, that is a tough question. I'm curious myself, actually. Seriously, Luger? Look, this isn't real versus not real. My Mila and you are two different people. That's all there is to it. Well, thanks for telling me. I get the message. You know what? Of all the Milas, you're my favorite. Of course, I never met the other ones, so... Are you trying to cheer me up? No, I don't care. I just like your cooking and stuff. That's why I said it. Fair enough. <laughs> when this is all over, I'll make you a big pot of soup. If 
if you're gonna make it anyway, then sign me up. Is everything gonna be okay with Mila and Jude? I understand where each of them are coming from. It's a delicate issue. Indeed it is. Oh, I was gonna say, do I have enough time to actually talk about that? It's like, it felt like there was gonna be a boss at that point, just because of the fact there was a save point. Elle's grown pretty attached to Mila, huh? Almost makes me a little jealous. <laughs> huh. Just, just, huh. Alright then. See how it is, Ludger. See how it is. Maxwell? What if I am? I finally found you! Isn't that liquid snake? Watch out, everyone! What do you want from me already? Mila, calm down. I can do this. Mila! Very strange fight like nothing happened but okay get back Mila are you okay he blew himself up because of me. Hate is too weak a word to describe Exodus's feelings for Mila. It's her own fault. She didn't finish them off when she had the chance. I'm glad she didn't at least. Huh? My father is an Olympian. He used to be a member of Exodus. But he fell in love with Ariza Maxian, my mother. Once I was born, he gave up his life as an Exodus agent. Wait, what? Looks like they're on to us. We better move. So does that mean... In my world, I killed Jude and his father when Jude was just a baby? I mean, I assume so. Nice thought. It's a, it's, it's a very nice thought, I suppose. But yeah. You're looking a little pale. Should we take a break? I'm fine. It's nothing. Right, fine, Better. you're gonna speak about it, yeah? I don't belong in this world. Better. Mila. No, apparently I'm not. Because every time I try and speak about what I want to speak about, they have this little thing in the bottom left. Ah. Hopefully they'll say nothing this time. Better. Yes, they are playing with the idea oh. of, like, the fact that to us, the people who have played the first game, etc, etc, that Mila feels like the copy, feels like the fake. That's the entire point of that. Like, yes, you've been played, basically. It's like, they, they wanted you to feel that way. They wanted it to feel like it's not our Mila. Because this was going to come up. It's the entire purpose of it. So it's sort of like, of course she doesn't feel correct and right and slightly off. Because it's like, because it isn't our Mila. It's a different Mila. So she feels like off-brand. Is the best way of putting it. All intentional. Alright, so clearly not the right way there. The question is, which is the right way? Because we need to get to where we're meant to be. It's gotta be soon though, surely. There's not much else I can explore in here. It just feels all very familiar at this point. Right, good. Ooh, the former Lord of Spirits. No, you don't! You don't look so good. Did you get hurt? Oh. How would you feel if I killed your daddy? Killed my daddy? My daddy can't die! I'm going to Canaan to save him! Daddy can't! I, I need my daddy! Relax! It's a hypothetical question. It's not real. If it's not real, then why would you ask it? Sorry. I guess I'll forgive you this time, but don't say weird things like that anymore. I'm sorry. I won't. I used to be the Lord of Spirits. And look at me now. 
Uh, hmm. Hmm. I think, I think we'll go with R1 here. Elle really likes you, you know? How is it that you can say such things with a straight face? Did Julius teach you that? <coughs> you too, Rolo. Now I know that this is Julius's influence. <laughs> hey, don't go pushing that girl off on me. You're still her guardian. And I expect you to protect her with your life. You hear me? All right. Not that it's any concern of mine, of course. But, well, well, of course not. It's like, yes, it's just so horrible. So horrible. It's like, Mila's going to be feeling like she is the fake at this point. That's the thing. It's like, she's like massive imposter syndrome. All right, then, Alvin. Well, that's it. Time to move on ahead. Okay. Why... Why did it have that little bit of scene then? It didn't really need it at that point. That's the central hall should be just ahead. Yeah, they'll probably have hostages, so prepare yourself. I will. In between the parts, because that's the end of this part. We shall see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>